Cost modeling within Edify allows you to turn historical projects into actionable insights to help guide the first application of cost on a project. Cost modeling historically is done through the use of multiple disparate systems that can make finding information and deriving any sort of insight very challenging. With Edify, there's no more digging through lengthy databases to try and find a project estimate that most accurately represents your current project only to find out that that's not the best project to use. There's no more manual importing and exporting of historical benchmark data over and over again as each new data set is available. There's no more searching through multiple systems to try and join data and tell a cost story of why something costs what it costs. Edify provides you now with all of the information that you need in one platform to make fast and accurate cost models and derive those insights. Within cost modeling, users can easily import any previous historical estimates directly into Edify. From there, users on any estimate can benchmark out projects to help build that historical database of benchmark projects. Within this screen right here, we've already selected projects of like kind and pulled those benchmark projects in. You can see we offer escalation here by time and location so that you can compare apples to apples. We also allow something unique with uh, use group filters. So with use group filters, we're able to filter out context that may not make sense to my specific project. For this example here, we have a retail shelf. Um, if that doesn't apply to the current project that I'm cost modeling for, I can simply filter that cost out and I no longer am inflating my cost with the retail scope. Uh, if I expand this, you can also see we allow multiple layers of grouping. So I can group by bid package, uniformat, master format, any sort of cu custom sort code that you want to bring in, uh, you're able to bring in. Uh, we also allow any sort of metric information that you want to pivot cost by. For instance, for a hotel, you may use cost per key uh, for an apartment cost per bed, or maybe cost per apartment unit. All of this information now lives within Edify all in one place, which allows you to tell this story much more easily. For example, if we look at say the concrete scope here, you can see this project has a cost of $45 per square foot, and this one is 74. Uh, if we wanted to dig into why is this 45, there's no more digging through multiple databases to try and figure that answer out. I can simply jump directly into that estimate straight from within Edify to answer that question. This is gonna take me directly to the detailed summary within Edify. I can look at the concrete scope and start going through this information or build out a variance report to try and figure out why something costs what it costs on this current project. Thanks so much.